On this day, February 22, 1894, Policarpo Bonilla holds a constituent assembly where for the first time it is advocate for feminine suffrage. It promulgates in October the Constitution of 1894. In February 1894, the liberal Policarpo Bonilla seized power of the country by forced arms, overthrowing Domingo Vázquez Toruño. On April 26 of the same year, Bonilla issued a decree calling for elections on June 3rd, 4 and 5 for a national constituent assembly that would meet in Tegucigalpa from July 1st to July 10. It began operations on July 11. In it, three deputies advocated for the first time in Honduras legislative history for the right to women's suffrage. He was proclaimed president on December 24, 1893, in rebellion against the conservative government, constituted serving as 26th president on a de facto basis from February 22, 1894 until January 31, 1895. Then he was elected 27th constitutional president of Honduras in the period from February 1, 1895 to February 1, 1899, when he was victorious in general elections. But the troops allied to Bonilla did not arrive in Tegucigalpa until February 22, 1894. Triumphantly made use of the capital, the so-called Liberal Revolution of 1894, led by Bonilla installing his government in the capital Tegucigalpa and administering the country until January 1895. This was a day in the history of Honduras.